up? How are you guys doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I know it's been some time since I last uploaded. It's been roughly, what, a month or something? <laughs> Let's just say I was going through something in my personal life and it affected quite a bit of things around me. But you know what? It's all said and done. I'm back. But I'm not just back, right? I'm back and I bring real, real juiciest stuff with me. Biao Tan. <laughs> She's popping all over Singapore right now. She's popping so much that there's been two trends on Twitter with her name and she's so powerful that even Hua Chong started trending. And if you guys have no idea who or what the hell am I talking about, maybe this clip might help you remember a little. Hi, so, you know your race? Oh, Malay is it? Oh, no wonder. <laughs> oh, God. After watching the video, I just thought it was like a one-time incident, you know, like those normal things which happen in Singapore. But apparently not this, like it's on a whole different level where she has a whole entire YouTube channel dedicated just to the Indian and Malay community. And that, like, she just loves us in a very weird way. Like, really, really. She just, she just shows the love in a very different way. <laughs> So with that, all that being said, with that, <laughs> with all that being said, let's get into um, some of the amazing clips that she has recorded on her channel. Okay, so this is one of her first videos. Uh, the title is of course Malay Harassing Chinese and it was posted on April 27, 2019. Let's, let's just watch the video, right? It's just a family with their son or grandson or something. Nothing happens. This is all that happens. Like the title of the video is Malay Saracen Chinese and uh just yeah I'm not even uh, yeah I am not even gonna waste your time. Literally that's all that happens. Like look, like I just wanna fast forward it. Like that's all that happened, bro. And her description of this video, right, is why am I always feeling mum but <laughs> what's what's with my pronunciation today? <laughs> Why am I always filming Malays near me? Because they are always trying to come near me ever since I refused to marry my ex-neighbour from Block 19 Marine Terrace. Please, please, just take note of the point of this, okay? I refused to marry a Malay, my ex-neighbour from Block 19 Marine Terrace. Okay, I've said this so many times, I'm going to repeat it here. I was a student from Hua Chong and a university graduate. So the guy that I'm looking to marry has to be higher educational slash professional level than I am. Sorry, I'm not being elitist. Go and ask my friends. Yo, who's gonna marry you? <laughs> who's gonna marry you in this video? They are clearly husband and wife in this video. And that's the, like their son or their grandson. What? Wait until the guy graduate from you. Like, yo, it's... Ah, just, just start, okay? This is just a start. Let's, there's a lot more to come. For God's sake, man. This one goes by the title of Indian Saracen Chinese, okay? So it's... I, I'm just gonna summarize it. Just watch the clip. It's the same damn thing. The guy just stands there and uses his damn phone and he gets recorded and the title is Indian Saracen Chinese, right? So... <laughs> yo, yo, why is she looking so angry, man? Like, like why, why is she so angry? Is she having a bad day or something? <laughs> why is she so angry? <laughs> Oh my god. The guy doesn't do anything. The guy just stands there, uses his phone and like... It's like what all of us will do lah. Please lah, for goodness sake, right? Yeah. That's it. That's literally all that happens. <laughs> there she goes again. I, a Chinese, don't have an issue against you Indians. Do you, an Indian, have an issue against Chinese? Yo, I don't... <laughs> I mean, the question, she put it out there, I don't, I'm good, I'm cool. Why are you harassing a Chinese? My issue... Bro, uh, let, let me just zoom into this real quick. My issue is with the Malays. You literally wrote this and you go around saying that people are harassing you when you clearly put out the information that you have an issue with the Malays. Like, you're not making sense, right? That's just not fair, correct? They started physically assaulting me when I approached MT Fatima Latif for help because my Malay ex-neighbor from Block 19 Marine Terrace... <laughs> was trying to coerce me to bring their son. Go and verify with Epi Cedric Fu. This incident happened in Orchard Bule, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we move on. Malay harassing Chinese again. So, yeah. Just just take a look at the store. Lah. Just take a look at the store first. It's a it's a, it's a a shoe shop. I, I, whatever shop this is. It's a shop. It's a shop where you buy things. For goodness sake. Look at her. She just, <laughs> she just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why is she looking so angry all the time? <laughs> she looks so angry, look at her! 
Okay, I'm, okay. Yeah, that's it. The video ends there. The, re the rest of it, it's a four minute video, by the way, but the whole thing is just a black screen. Yeah, and that's it. But this time, in the description, she goes a bit into more detail. I started getting physically assaulted seven years ago after she had approached MT Fatima Latif, and then I'm going to keyword it for y'all again, okay? Uh, Malay, the neighbor, Block 19 Marine Terrace, trying to force them into marrying the son. I, I feel like at this point, I should say this, okay? I feel like I should say this. Bia, if you're watching this, right, please know that I am not wanting to marry you. Nobody will force you to marry me as well. I have no... um. Uh, education as high as you I am actually a poly dropout And uh, Yeah just, just Just for your information I guess before um, I don't know You put out something about me And say that I made this video To get your attention Because I want to marry you Or something along those lines Um, And I'm being very serious about it Like like I cannot be more serious About what I'm saying now So uh, Yeah just, just for your information So again, as you can see, this looks like what fucking NTC or Giant or something. Just, just look at the family for a while. Like, they get so involved and and, and they go into discussion over something. I was thinking what they were talking about, though. But <laughs> it's a very classic clip. It's a very classic clip. <laughs> well, yeah, I forgot to mention it's called Malay Heresic Chinese. So yeah, just whatever. I guess at this point you are like used to it already. You see, they are so involved into something, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, come and spoil the food like this is. Come on, let them buy some peanut butter in peace, yo! They are trying so hard to get the best peanut butter ever. <laughs> Look at this point! Look at the guy, the guy was like, What the fuck are you doing, bruv? <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This guy just can't be bothered, he's like, Ah! Exactly, they're like wondering, you know, why am I in a supermarket trying to buy the best peanut butter that I can? And then like somebody just standing there and fucking like record, like, ugh, so dumb. It, ugh, it's just so fucking dumb. It's just like not funny anymore. <laughs> like the guy went on Twitter and he said, you see, my family and I has been receiving multiple texts alerting us of the viral video, which was released by the lady. We just want to put on record that we were, <laughs> we were very engrossed by our selection of peanut butter that we didn't notice. <laughs> We were stunned when we realized she was videotaping us, but we brushed it off and all. You know, many people like um, texted them, of course, friends and family. And then he was like, My friends and family, uh, my family and I are safe, and we actually found this entire incident amusing. We had a good dinner topic to talk about. However, we are saddened that she felt about us, and we truly apologize if we made her feel uncomfortable. Yo, Ismail, there's really nothing to apologize about. You don't need to apologize. Yo, you are buying peanut butter discussing about the calories and all why do you need to apologize there's no need to apologize man we thank everyone who came to text us about the concerns we are fine and well and not hurt because we understand she could have a bad experience yep apparently so to my non-malay friends we still love you and there's nothing to apologize for same goes to you man same goes to you there's really really nothing to apologize like on your behalf as well uh we are back at a grocery store i guess or whatever this is a daiso probably Uh, I, I, uh, I don't get it. See, uh, she just filmed this woman for like 24 seconds all the way. And yeah, the description she goes on to say, you know, people ask why I'm always filming Malays. That is because these Malays are trying to come near me. I've said it so many times. Oh, there we go again. Watch them do their college, university graduate. The man I'm looking to marry, bro. There's no man in the video. And this woman can't force you to marry her. In Muslim, it's like, it's like haram for a woman to marry a woman. And for a man to marry a man. I don't get what's the point of this video. At this point, she's the one harassing the people around her, not them. And so far, all the clips that we've seen recorded by her, I don't think we've seen any form of harassment. If you ask me, if you ask me, really, I really don't see any form of harassment. Okay, so at this point, we are. I don't think we are very surprised with the titles of the video. Again, we go Malay physically or something in Chinese, and uh, yeah, I guess we shop and save or something. All customers. And uh, yeah. Which way are you going, Which way are you going? We seek your understanding and push me. You touch me. You push me. Go on here, camera. Go on here. Go on here. Oh my god. It's a supermarket man, like uh seems to be the case that as long as any like Muslim or Indian person just goes near her, it seems to be um claimed as harassment according to her at least la and goes on to say that you know what 
uh, she's been physically assaulted by Malay strangers for seven to eight years apparently because um, they were told that she was racist. And then she goes on to say, if I were racist, why didn't they call straight times and lambas me? Yo, because they are there to buy shoes, buy fucking peanut butter and go to supermarket on a normal day and you're filming them without their consent and putting the video up on the internet saying that a race is assaulting another race or insulting another race. You're not supposed to do that. That is actually considered harassment if you didn't know, Biao. Like, I mean, you, you have to know this. You're from Hua Chong, for goodness sake. So she was so devious and even tried to implicate fair price stuff that they had heard me shouting at her. I clarified with staff Karen about this. Of course, of course, you clarified with staff Karen about this because there is no other staff. You gotta go to staff Karen. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> Oh, this one, this one blew me off. This, this just, just, like, it's a nine second video. Malay harassing Chinese. And look what happens, yeah? The girl just climbs up the escalator. And she's probably just rushing somewhere. But nope, strangers trying to purposely approach anyone in public as harassment, go and approach other Chinese. But isn't that what you're doing? Isn't that what you're doing? You're literally filming them, random strangers on the street who have no damn idea over what's going on. Uh, and uh, I'm just repeating myself because that's what you're doing and you're claiming that other people are harassing. Like I said earlier in the video, like, it just really doesn't add up what you're doing, the words that you're saying. The, the equation just doesn't match. Racism! Malay harassing Chinese. Look at how far the guy is. Uh. Just look at how far the guy is. He's at the complete other end using his phone, not doing anything, right? He's just... Like, yo, like he's just walking off on a travel and... And he was on the complete other side. He was on the complete other side. That one also cannot then how lah. Like, like, how far are we supposed to be away from, from her to not claim it as harassment, right? Like, oh god. I'm a Chinese, I'm not a Muslim, nor do I wish to become a Muslim. Like... Bro, okay, we get it, but what has this guy who was on the complete other end of the travel letter have to do with anything based on what you're saying? Okay, so this is the last video we're gonna watch. Uh, it's a one second video. If you look at it, it literally says 0. 0.00. <laughs> Indian harassing Chinese. Let's watch, huh? <laughs> Indian harassing Chinese. <laughs> Yo, I am so done, bro. I am just so done. Okay, let me just summarize what we've just seen for the past few minutes, okay? Biao Tan is somebody who studied in Hua Chong and then she graduated from a Canadian university, right? And more importantly, she's looking for someone only who is more successful and talented for her to marry. That's completely fine. If you're one of them and if you're interested, please go and approach her. And according to her, she started getting physically abused by Malays after she approached MP Fatima Lati for help because her then Malay neighbor from Block 19 Marine Terrace forced her to uh, marry their son, apparently. Did that incident cause any psychological trauma to everything that's happening now? Really nobody knows, right? That is why I guess I'm here to tell you, Biao, in the most kindest way possible, please speak to somebody or try to get some help. Because things like this, sometimes without you knowing and because of the trauma which happened back in the past, might um, cause you to act this way. Maybe, maybe. I don't know, but this is just um, my my thoughts. Lah. This is just my thoughts towards um, you and what you're doing. <laughs> Also on your Twitter, you have so many police reports that you just publicly release it out like that without censoring everything. Um, I don't know if you know, but your full name, your address, everything is in there. So it will be in your best um, idea to delete them ASAP considering how famous, infamous, all famous you're getting around in Singapore and people are all over your social media. So yeah, it will be in your best interest to actually um, delete them. I mean, I can see you're trying to get in touch with Joe Biden over certain things which happened. But uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, please go and delete them. It's for your own good. It's for your own good. <laughs> Last but not least, whoever this neighbor uh, from Block 19 Marine Terrace, please lah, they, please lah, help the rest of us lah. Go and find her, apologize to her, talk to her, do something. Help the rest of us out lah, they. Don't let the rest of us come up. <laughs> Seems to start all the way there. So it's only right if you come back into the picture and not just chow, right? <laughs> 
for this incident, it's just better to look at it from a different point of perspective, lah, really. Because considering how her videos are being done and the context which is being shown together with her title and stuff like that, yo, uh, it just doesn't make sense. It just really doesn't make sense. And I think you guys can judge for yourselves, to be honest, based on what everything you've seen. Yep, so uh, like I said, that's the end of the video. We've summarized everything. It was pretty... Um, Funny, fun, da, 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 da. you know, I only can use those words because to avoid any other extra stuff, I'm going to use those words. <laughs> and yeah, um, anyway, like I said, um, I'm done with uh, with my personal life kind of stuff. I'm back. I'm going to continue uploading this and that. There's a lot of things that I have in store as well. I also took some took some time to gather some uh, content here and there. So there's a lot more to come. Lah. So anyway, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't. And, and I'll catch you guys soon. Next week, I'll catch you guys soon from now onwards. <laughs> Peace, take care guys, catch you all soon man, take care. Oh, there's a bully, oh, there's an idiot, oh, he's a harassment. <laughs> oh.